Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, short event promo in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported image which I am going to use in this tutorial. You can also use video for this promo. So without any wait, let's create event promo. Let's start with creating a new composition. Here we will name it as slide 1. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Set time duration to 2 seconds. Perfect. First, we will add our text. So let's add the text. Here I am using Myriad Pro font family. Let's align the text to the center. Let's adjust the anchor point to the center. Now let's animate the text. For text, in animate, select tracking. Now at 12 frames. Create a keyframe for tracking. Now at start of the timer line. Change tracking amount to 100. You can see the preview. You need to make sure the paragraph alignment is set to center text. Or else your text tracking will look like this. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. For text layer, we need to again add tracking. Now in animator 2, range selector 1. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for start. Now at 12 frames. Change start value to 100%. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. In advance. Change based on to characters excluding spaces. Change randomize order to on. For animator 2, let's add. Opacity. Set opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in transform. At 12 frames. Create a keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timeline, change scale value to 250%. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Change scale value to 110%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now we need to create a duplicate of text layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now let's position the text layer at 5 frames. Now for duplicate text layer. In character, we need to swap the fill and stroke.
Here you can adjust the stroke width. Let's set it to 1. You can see the preview. At 12 frames, for duplicate text layer, press T to bring up the opacity. Now create a keyframe for opacity. At 20 frames, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now for duplicate text layer, we need to add the script. So that if you need to change the original text, the text of duplicate layer will also get changed. Press Alt key and click on stopwatch for source text. Now here you need to add expression. Here you need to enter the original text layer name, that is promo. Now you can see, if I change this text, the duplicate layer text is automatically changed. Now parent duplicate layer to sample text layer. Perfect, here our text animation is complete. Now select both text layers. Pre-compose it. Name it as text1. Perfect. Now let's add the image to the timeline. Here I will scale my image. I will slightly adjust the position for my image. Perfect. Now we need to pre-compose this image. Let's name it as image 1. Select move all attribute into the new composition. Now for image composition. In effects and preset, search for offset. Now add it to image composition. Now at 20 frames. Create keyframe for shift center. Now at start of the timeline. Adjust the shift center value. Set it to zero. For image composition, press U to view created keyframes. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur. Add it to image composition. Now at 20 frames. Create a keyframe for blurriness, now at start of the timeline. Change blurriness to 130. Select repeat edge pixels. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. Now for image composition. Press S to bring up scale. Now at 20 frames, create keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timeline, change scale value to 180%. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. Now at end of the timeline, change scale value to 110%. Now here we will create some random shapes.
Select Rectangle Tool. For Shape Layer, set Stroke to None. Change Fill Option to Solid Color. Now here you can set any color you want for the Shape Layer. For shape layer change mode to darken. Let's trim the shape layer at 10 frames. Let's create duplicate of the shape layer. Now adjust the position. Let's create another shape. Trim it. Now we will adjust the position on timeline to get random effect. Let's create circle, select ellipse tool. Draw circle. Change fill to none. Set stroke to solid color. Here you can set the stroke width. Let's change the stroke color. Here you can try different types of shape animation. Let's add trim path to shape layer 4. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for start. Now at 10 frames, change start value to 100%. Now at 10 frames, create keyframe for end. Now at 20 frames, change end value to 0%. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You need to adjust the speed graph as shown. Let's trim it. Now adjust the position on timeline. Similarly, here you can create different shapes such as triangle, polygon, stars etc. Let's create a new solid. Name it as grid. Now in effects and preset, search for grid. Add it to solid grid layer. For grid. Change size from to width slider. Let's set width to 60. Set border to 50. Now select invert grid. You can adjust the grid border. Let's trim it at 15 frames. Adjust the position. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Let's see the preview. Similarly you can create as many slides you want.
and create your promo. You can add transition between slides from my 30 smooth transition pack. The link is given in the description. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.